Well, I wish all these weirdos would shut up. Hey, this is Fred Schneider, and I'm listening to, well, trying to listen to KRUI on 89.7, the sound alternative in Iowa City. Hey, this is Cody. And this is Molly. From Stolen Jars. And you're listening to KRUI Iowa, Iowa City. City. Good afternoon, Iowa City. This is I Hear, I See, a show that showcases local art and artists in Iowa City and beyond. I'm your host, Justin Comer. Joining me today, we have a guest. Would you like to introduce yourself, guest? Sure. What information do you need from me, your guest? Name, date of birth, (laughs) age, location... All right, uh, name, Michelle Guild, date of birth, April something? Hey, yeah. Right? Uh, you should a- know. 1990. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, by location, do you mean right now? Yes. Current location is Iowa City, Iowa. Okay. Third floor of the Iowa Memorial Union. All right. In the KRUI radio station. Correct. Mm-hmm. You've won. Was there anything else you wanted? I don't remember. About me, Michelle Guild? I did say age, but oh, birth, uh, birthday so sort of includes that. 28, almost 29. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why I'm like telling you you're right. <laughs> These are questions about yourself that you're answering. Yeah, I just don't have a great memory. All right. What well, is, welcome what to is this. my birthday? Your birthday? Yeah. Um, I mean, my birthday is September 11th. Mm, yeah, and what's mine? 1990. <laughs> Oh, yours is uh, April 22nd. 22nd, okay. Earth Day. Thanks for reminding me of my birthday. Yeah. I remember your birthday because it's on Earth Day, and I remember my birthday because it's on (laughs) 9-11. Right. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Thanks for having me in the studio today. You're Um, welcome. What is this show about again? It's about local art artists and their art, their music, and their words. Mm. So what's the plan for today's show? Today, we are recapping a show that happened Friday, today's Sunday. (laughs) I had to go through a mental calendar, Mm -hmm. and that was at Trumpet Blossom in Iowa City. Yeah. How did did the show go? You hosted it. The show went amazing. (laughs) Who performed at that show? I did. (laughs) (laughs) Who else, though? Honestly, I... I blacked out halfway through. I don't remember. All right. uh, Should we end the bit now? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Uh, If you hadn't figured it out by now, I am actually Justin Comer. I'm the host. I'm the host of this show, I Hear I See Radio. It's about local music and local musicians and local art and local artists, etc. I almost got it right. Well, I do it different every time, pretty much. So uh, my guest today is... Michelle Guild. Yes. And as we have established, she was born on April 22nd of 1990. And my social security number is as follows. Just kidding. <laughs> I turned your mic off. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So we are recapping the I Hear I See concert that occurred Friday night at the Trumpet Blossom. Uh, great performances by my friends Rami and Rochandel, Divine Huff, and Purchase. And another performance, which I will not qualify by myself. <laughs> I don't want to call myself great. That would be too conceited. No, it was right? great. You performed last night at my thing. It was great. Last night at okay. 2 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know time and yeah. date. <laughs> uh, so uh, are you ready to hear some of the music? Absolutely. You weren't actually there. I wasn't there. Yeah, so you're hearing most of this for the first time. Yes. Okay, so up first was Ramin Roshandel playing his setar, playing some uh, sort of traditional Iranian music. Cool. He played for about 17 minutes. Okay. And I want to play a few minutes of that set now. Good. Can you give me a number between 1 and 12? I can. Okay. Three. All right. (laughs) We're going to start this set at the three-minute mark. (laughs) And uh, I'll let it go for a few minutes, and then we'll come back. All right. So here is Ramin Rochandel. Live performance from March 15th, 2019 at the Trumpet Blossom. Thank you. 
Roshan, though, a segment of his performance Friday night at the Trumpet Blossom as part of the monthly I Hear I See concert showcase. You can hear the full thing once I upload it to our YouTube page, youtube.com slash I Hear I See. Probably sometime this week or maybe next weekend. Good set from him. Uh, have you ever heard Ramin play live? I don't think you I have. don't think I have, but I really no. enjoyed that. Yeah, he's great. He's really good at what he does. Mm-hmm. He's also a composer, and all of his music that I've heard other people play is good, too. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so I was going to ask you, while we're back on the mic, uh, how was your weekend? It was it was really great. I hosted a podcaster's meetup event in Des Moines that you attended. Oh. Remember? <laughs> yeah, I do. It's been a long <laughs> weekend. I'm pretty tired. It has been a long weekend. I only slept like four hours Friday night after the concert before I got up and drove to Des Moines. To yeah, help <laughs> and I really appreciate that. Thank you for coming. Well, you know, I would say you're welcome, but... But I'm not. You're not, exactly. I know. <laughs> I know. How was the event, though, from, from your perspective? I feel like it went really well. Mm-hmm. Just uh, the only bad part was, of course, I had to give a speech, and that was really scary. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you gave a speech in front of people? Oh, gosh, probably college... And I got a bloody nose during it. I don't know if you've told me about the college speech. What was that? Well, I don't know if it was so much a speech, but it was like a, what are those things you do? Oral <laughs> uh, book report? Like, like a presentation? Just kind of a, yeah. Thing. It yeah. wasn't like a speech. It was like homework. Right. So. <laughs> it, was it a book report? I don't remember. Or was that just an example you gave? Honestly, I probably didn't even read the book. I don't know what it was about. So you don't remember anything about it? I don't remember any speech I've ever given. I don't even remember most of yesterday. Yeah. I was so scared. 
Um, <laughs> how did you prepare for that speech? I didn't. Because I know that you have, you're afraid of doing that. Yeah. As we've been discussing. You didn't prepare at all? I can't prepare because then I overthink it and then mm. I, and I I would probably die. You would die of the of, preparation? Of fright? No, just uh, <laughs> just the, I think the buildup of it. So if I gave myself too much time to think about actually getting in front of people and talking, yeah, it would have drove me mad. I probably wouldn't have showed up to the event, honestly. So so My own event, I would not have gone. Your tactic for preparing for the speech was to pretend it wasn't going to happen and to wing it once it finally mm-hmm. came yeah mm-hmm. i think it worked out okay i think it was fine i yeah. think throughout a, uh, like a couple times i stopped and said i have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> yeah you did <laughs> <laughs> i think people understood though so it's fine no one was too judgy about it no i don't, I think. don't think anyone was mean to your face no uh, not to my face they certainly didn't say anything to me either that's good yeah and they would have gone to you first of course if they had anything mean to say about me yeah i think it was pretty clear that uh i was sort of your handler yesterday at the event oh don't why worry why did I saw you just some, point at something uh, someone's in the room next door that's all i thought there was a spider <laughs> no, 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 no 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 um yeah, so the speech went very well. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. My mom thought so, too. She was watching on Oh, Facebook. yeah, there was a live stream <laughs> happening, and uh, we I peaked at, I think, three viewers. Yeah, <laughs> which is pretty good. I mean, yeah? I didn't want anyone it's to watch it. It's a lot more it. than zero. Yeah. Well, it's not a lot more than zero, it's, but it's... It's a few more than zero. It is a number greater than zero. It is. Yeah. Some would say. Okay, I'm going to play a PSA real quick. Okay. Ready for this? Sort of. Okay. Listen up. Here's a PSA. Thank you. Iowa Affirmation and Resources Chat, Iowa Arch for short, is a free, safe, and confidential online space for survivors of abuse, bullying, harassment, stalking, sexual assault, and other types of violence at Iowa. At Iowa Arch, we offer anonymous one-on-one support and referrals in four languages. If you're looking for help for yourself or a loved one, use a safe device to chat with us at iowaarch.org. That's I-O-W-A-A-R-C-H dot O-R-G. Remember, it's free, anonymous, and confidential. We're here to support you. All right. That was one I had not heard before. That's a new one to me. Check out Iowa Arch if you are in need of those services. Okay. Yeah. Um, So next I'm going to play an excerpt from my own performance Friday night. And you heard something similar yesterday. Yes. But shorter. Yes. So this is a piece I made called Modal Exploration. It's very improvisatory. Um, I sort of did a demo of this piece on this show a few weeks ago. Oh, I don't okay. know if you listened to that one. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I listened to all of them. Do you have no memory or <laughs> Hey. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You've heard me you heard me play the piece yesterday. Right. But you don't remember if you had heard me I I don't do know. that on the radio? No, it's I don't basically remember. The same. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so So I guess no, I have no memory at all. Yeah, so the improvisatory nature of the piece means I can pretty much play it for as long as I want. Mm-hmm. Friday night I played it for about 12 minutes. Okay. So this time, can you give me a number between 1 and 7? Actually, between 0 and 7. 0. Well, there we go. I shouldn't have I should have said 0 the first time and then Yeah. You wouldn't have been so attracted to the 0. <laughs> When I reminded myself. That's true. Do you want me to say one? No, zero is better. Okay, good. (laughs) Okay, so here are the first few minutes of my performance of Modal Exploration. This was recorded live Friday night, March 15th at the Trumpet Blossom. Here we go.
That's all you get of that for now. Aw, we wanted more. <laughs> well, I'll put the full thing up on YouTube <laughs> later. Thank you. That was me uh, <laughs> performing one of my newest creative efforts. That's good. <laughs> Titled Modal Exploration. That was about the first half of my performance on Friday night, recorded live at the Trumpet Blossom. Uh, hey, if you're just tuning in, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> the show is called I Hear I See Radio about local music. And all that stuff. If you're listening and you want to talk to us, maybe say something, uh, you can tweet at us. It's at I hear I see. Um, <laughs> so, do you? Uh, what did you think of, of my performance there, Michelle? It was uh, moving. Oh, really? What did it move you towards? Do you think the door? Wow! <laughs> wow! How nice of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, do you have any any questions about what you heard? Um, I have a bit of constructive criticism. Oh, really? Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm not being mean. <laughs> <laughs> you can be mean. Okay. I, I wanted to be mean, but I, I 
changed my mind. This is live radio. Let, I'm let a good out. person. Let it out. Be as brutal as you want. It could have been louder. Um, do you mean I could have just turned it up louder? No, I mean, you could have used your lungs better. I didn't even play that much, honestly. You should, have, just you should have used your lungs more. Well, all right. I'll think about That's it all for, I have for to next say. time. The thing about this piece is that I can play it like as many times as I want. I can mm-hmm. play it wherever and just, you know, every time it's going to be different. So right. next time I'll use my lungs more. Please. See how that feels. It'll see how feel that great. turns out. It'll sound better. <laughs> just so you know. All right. Thanks. <laughs> um, <laughs> oof. So you, you heard me, <laughs> you heard me play it live yesterday and now you've heard a recording mm-hmm. of the Friday night performance. Yeah. Do you have a preference between the two. Yeah, honestly, should have used your lungs better both times. Both times. So yeah. about the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right well there we go i'm kidding <laughs> you need to be able to like hold your poker face when you're I being mean. <laughs> you crack up every time <laughs> if all right let me let me demonstrate um what's oh, okay what's something you're really insecure about <laughs> um my existence no i mean like a physical my face or <laughs> <laughs> uh what about your face my nose it's huge okay you're uncomfortable about your nose uh-huh okay uh let me I'm going to try to be like really mean about your nose. Okay. And, please, yeah. And please. not like break. Okay. Okay. Um, so how, how, uh, how big was your nose <laughs> when you were born? Probably pretty small. I was a baby. Yeah. So what, how much has it grown in your life? In your 28 <laughs> years of life? Um, probably quadrupled in size. Okay. Uh, I don't know. How, so it's it's about quadrupled in size in 28 years. How long do you expect to live? How, do, how long do I expect it to live? No, you, yourself. Oh, uh, I don't know, 35. Okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 56, just for okay, easier math. Okay. So it, I'm going to say it's going to double again <laughs> Oh. between now and when you die at age 56. That's not very long for it so, to double. So... Uh, and it looks bad. You're kind of breaking. Well, they can't hear me breaking. I'm only <laughs> smiling. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm not very good at it either. Also, I wasn't even being that mean. I was no, just it like wasn't. Making it up was, stupid math. It was just a weird observation about what my nose might look like in 28 years. Yeah. It's going to be even bigger than it is now, and it's already <laughs> enormous. <laughs> All right. I, I guess I, I'm not good at it either. Yeah, so stop judging me and my right. giant nose. You're really bad at being mean. And Thanks. you should feel bad I about do. that. I do now because you didn't break that time. And now I'm insecure about how mean I am. Stop looking at me like that. No one can see me. That's not good radio. All right. Uh, <laughs> we're going to play some more stuff now from my laptop. Okay. Okay. And this is actually sort of the opposite of what we were just doing. It's very positive stuff. Perfect. Okay, so uh, my friend Divine Huff, she read three of her poems. It was a pretty short set on Friday night, so we're going to get to listen to the whole thing. Uh, First is her poem, Possibility. Second one is called Dub. And the third one is called Shifting to Self. And you're going to hear it as soon as I turn the board on. You're going to hear it now. Cheers. This is a celebration of life and all she has to offer. This is good. The sweet stuff they write books about and feature films featuring real lovers and tongue kisses, not just pecs. But emotion evoked right before your eyes, this is the stuff of magic. We are witnessing pure opulence, the moment you were destined to live, the now, full of possibilities and seduction and bliss and play. This is where you say, thank you for all that was and all that will be. Gratitude for all experiences because everything is auspicious. So revel in the triumph of your presence in this moment. You got through it all successfully. Dub. The warmth of your embrace the curve in your back, the yogi in you. Daily, I am recharged by your pure existence, reminded to take joy in simple pleasures like food and water and back rubs and cozy spots and crinkly things. 
I am better for having you and you me. We need each other. We are delicately intertwined. We will meet in the next life too, like pharaohs and queens believed, pyramids built in honor of our cat. Time shifts and sifts and cleanses. Moment to moment, opportunities come to show true self, to elevate higher into knowing the answers to which you seek. Life is bleak without search and research on what makes you, you. Seeing reality clearly without needing hindsight, though mistakes equal lessons or room to grow into your individual uniqueness. You will face the same until something in you changed and there is a shift, a lift in consciousness which elevates the planet generations before and after benefit from light, erasing plights, eroding strife, eradicating fear. You are near cleansing. You are near healing. You are near transformation and creative genius, most honest reflection of self. You are the universe. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Don't you feel better about your horrible nose now? I feel really great, Mm -hmm. especially about the cat poem. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, So that was Divine Huff, uh, a poetry set recorded live Friday night at the Trumpet Blossom as part of the I Hear I See concert. This is I Hear I See Radio on KRUI. Uh, If you liked Divine's poetry, you should check out her radio show on this very station, Wednesday nights at 5. It's called A Moment with Divine. You can find a lot of the past episodes at the KRUI SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash KRUI. Current time is 4.30, and uh, I have a seasoned guest in the studio with me today, so she knows what 4.30 means. It's time for the weather. That's right. Are you ready to present the weather to the people out there? I'm always ready to present the weather to the people out there. Great. Currently... It is 42 degrees Fahrenheit with a low tonight, or maybe it already happened this morning, of 27 degrees. Mm -hmm. Humidity, 59%. Winds coming from the west, northwest, at 10 miles per hour. And from the looks of the windows, just some nice fluffy clouds out there. Nothing negative today. Just some nice, bright, sunny clouds. Great job. That doesn't make sense. What? Sunny clouds. Mm, The clouds are reflecting the sun's rays. There are clouds and it is sunny. They are sunny clouds. It's okay. It made sense. You didn't ruin the whole thing. All right. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So you brought in these gummy bears. I did. Um, I bring them with me everywhere. Maybe we we shouldn't uh, advertise them or anything, but... uh, Of course not. Do you like these non-specific gummy bears? Well, I give them I give them half my salary, so... These You buy these a lot? Oh, yeah. Okay. Which flavor is your favorite? Of this selection. Um, I like the green one, and not to give away the brand, but the green one in this particular bag is strawberry, which throws a lot of people off, because typically a strawberry would be a red flavor, maybe a pink, like those runts. I mean, not a brand. <laughs> no, it's the, fine. The I'm fruit, joking. <laughs> the hard fruit circles and shapes. Yeah. Yeah, green as strawberry. I didn't even know that they did that. Yeah, these, you learn uh, something new every day. These unspecified gummy bears. Um... So strawberry is your favorite, the green ones? Yeah, just just because of the surprise. Were we talking about this the other day? I like to eat these two at a time. Yeah, and it made me sick. You don't like that? No, have I have to eat one at a time. It? No. So right now I'm going to eat uh, on mic. I'm going to eat one of the yellow lemon flavored ones and one of the transparent pineapple, pineapple. flavored ones. Okay. Okay. You You're making flavor report. combinations? Yeah. Is, that's the reason you eat them twice or two at a time. Yeah, they taste better when combined. Okay. So I'm chewing on. I my- thought you were just. I thought you just ate them faster because, like, some people mm. eat just handfuls of M and M's at once, mm. and I hate that because savor it. Yeah. Eat one at a time, you monster. It's not about trying to consume them more quickly. It's that I think they enhance each other when they're combined. Oh. Are you? I'm gonna try. Can it. I convince you yeah. to try it? All right. Try, yeah. try two of those. Okay. I'm gonna try a. Uh, how about a raspberry and orange? Which one's raspberry? Red. The red is raspberry flavor? It's not strawberry because strawberry is green. Well, I thought it was cherry or something. I wonder if it's green because it's flavored like the stem. Yeah, it's strawberry leaf flavor. Yeah. 
Mm. Okay, let's see. I, they, it tastes like nothing. I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> okay, you got raspberry and what? Orange. Orange. Okay, let me see the bag again. Here. I'm gonna try to get two different ones. This uh, is really good audio. Oh no, it is. We're reviewing food. Um, mm-hmm. We have not had a green one yet, right? Right. Okay, so let me get green and whatever is next. Okay, I got a uh, strawberry and a pineapple. Okay. That sounds really good. Yeah, let's see. You got to put them back to back also. Oh, like that's that. why it doesn't taste like anything for me. All right. <laughs> pineapple and strawberry together. <laughs> I hate this. This you is hate what? This is uncomfortable radio. <laughs> Yeah. I'm thinking about the people getting into their car, turning on the radio for the first time today, and this is what they're hearing. They're hearing me chewing. Uh huh. That was good, actually. The pineapple and strawberry together. Should I try it? And then we can keep yeah, recording yeah, yeah. me yeah. and you yeah. eating yeah, gummy yeah, bears? Yeah, try, try that. You're going to try the same combo as me? Pineapple, strawberry. strawberry. With pineapple? Yeah. yeah. Did you put them back to back before you threw them in your mouth? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they meld together better if they're. They split up in your mouth anyways. But you take the first bite, both of them together. I I I molded them together again in my mouth, and I bit them together. Okay. What do you think? (laughs) (laughs) Come on, you're exaggerating your mouth noises now. (laughs) It's delicious. Yeah? Listeners at home, it's delicious. I've converted you. (laughs) You eat candy two at a time. But I like to make them last longer. Just eat slower. It takes longer to chew two than one. I guess. So it's going to be like that. Yeah. All right. You know? You've convinced me. There we go. I win. Okay. I'm going to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play some of Purchase's set now. Yay. Okay. He played for about half an hour on Friday. Whoa. Because, nice. Because people got up and were dancing. That's awesome. Yeah. Which doesn't happen at our shows very often. I mean, a lot of our music doesn't really, you know. It's hard to dance to that. a lot of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we, we get a lot of like weirdo stuff. But uh, Purchase is very danceable. Oh, yeah. I danced people, to Purchase. Yeah. The people jumped in. They danced for us. Good. <laughs> um, so I have his set split into four parts. I want to play one of the longer parts. Okay. Should I play part three or four? Let's go four. Okay. We're going to play the last 10 minutes of Purchase's set recorded live at the Trumpet Blossom Friday night, March 15th. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Support for KROI is brought to you in part by The Broken Spoke. They offer new and used bicycles, cycling accessories, and also service all kinds of bikes. They can be found in Iowa City at their new address, 757 South Gilbert Street. For more information, visit thebrokenspoke.com or call 319-338-8900. All right, before that, Grant Spot from our friends at The Broken Spoke, you heard... About 10 minutes of purchases set, recorded live Friday night at the Trumpet Blossom as part of the I Hear I See concert showcase. The full 30-minute set will be up on our YouTube page sometime in about a week or so, youtube.com slash I Hear I See. In the meantime, you can find more of Purchase at purchase.bandcamp.com. That's the word purchase, just the normal word, P-U-R-C-H-A-S-E. Hmm. Can you put a dollar sign in a URL? <laughs> you cannot. I didn't think so. Which is why he does not. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Just regular old purchase.bandcamp.com. But he spells it with the dollar sign right. most of the time as yeah. like a marketing thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, that, we'll see. That's why I asked. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I understood the question. I wasn't just I, trying to make a suggestion for his URL. <laughs> I was providing context for the listeners <laughs> who may or may not be familiar with purchase. My name's Justin. I'm here with Michelle. This is the last little bit of I Hear I See Radio on KRUI, your favorite radio station in all the world. <laughs> and your favorite show on your favorite radio station in all the world. Look. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, I think you can say it. Uh, I morally cannot. Say it. I'm not going to say it. Say it. All right, all right. It's probably your favorite show on (laughs) No, I I can't. I can't. There's too many other good shows on the radio station, and I I don't want to rank us. Okay, that's fair. That's nice. This is my favorite show on the station, but that's because I do it. Yeah. And I enjoy my time And you're conceited. Yeah, and I love myself. Right. More than anyone else. Uh, Yeah. But uh, I don't want to rank all the shows, okay? (laughs) Okay, fine. This is number one in my heart, but not objectively. Okay. Does that work? I sure. think that's fair, right? Yeah. Okay. But we all know how you feel now, so. <sighs> you got it out of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. It's, uh, it's time for me to list a bunch of things that are happening in Iowa City, also known as the plug segment. But I have a guest here today, so I'd like to let you plug anything that you'd like to while you have the air time. Yeah. I'm going to talk about um, the show that the podcast that you and I do together. Oh. It's called Impedecast. Mm-hmm. What's that about? It's about or just what's the stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just about stuff. So it's stuff and things. Uh, what's the what's the premise? Okay, so the premise behind Impedecast, it's called Impedecast for a reason, folks. Mm-hmm. Do you know what impede means? It's just kind of annoying. Just a thing that gets in your way. Right. Yeah. Something yeah. blocking you from yes. your goal. So we like to venture out. On location to places that you wouldn't typically want to record any audio because of the impeding surrounding noises. Mm -hmm. And that's ideal for our show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a challenge. It's a challenging thing to do and to listen to, I'd say. Challenge to listen to, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to like boil it down into like one short phrase. It's hard to do. Yeah. I'm burping from these gummy bears. (laughs) Yeah. what I've what I've come up with, what I, I like the sound of this. Okay. Not the burp. Um, I like the sound of this phrase. <laughs> a series of attempted conversations in hostile environments. I like it. You like that? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Cool. So we recorded one of those yesterday while we were uh, hanging out at an event center. Yes. And I haven't uploaded it yet, but probably soon. Yeah. So stay tuned mm-hmm. for that. It's yeah. going to be impeding. Mm-hmm. on your day when you listen to it <laughs> right it'll get in your way yeah um anything else that you want to present to the world i also have Make my own show of? what's it's that ca- called? it's called welcome to my show mm-hmm. and that's all i'm gonna say about it okay sounds good next time i'm <laughs> next time i'm a guest on your show can uh-huh. i do the introduction absolutely like we did today for this show yeah cool all right is that all you want to get out there sure okay. okay well are you sure oh yes you're I'm sure. Okay, good. Uh, Here's some events that you could attend if you are interested in attending events in Iowa City. Um, This is one you can catch if you're listening live, but if you're listening to the podcast online later, it will already have happened. This one happens today at Public Space One at 5.30. It's a free generative writing workshop led by our friend Jennifer McBain-Stevens. 
later on on the 22nd which is friday this friday yeah this friday at the trumpet blossom uh equine which is either a band or a solo artist from colorado i don't know all the details uh will be performing with openers haunter and gabby vanick that's at 9 p.m uh the next day saturday night at blue moose this is a pretty stacked lineup this starts at eight a show featuring kaleidoscope purchase be though and shakes the same night beginning at 9 p.m harper and lee oh this is at the trumpet blossom also Harper and Lee, our friend Asher Brown, and C.W. That's C-double-U, not the letter W. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They'll be playing together. Nice. Saturday night, 9 p.m., Trumpet Blossom. The next night, no, sorry, this is way later. <laughs> <laughs> this is the next Friday, the 29th, uh, at Trumpet Blossom. This show begins at 8, features Zool, the Ultrasounds, Busey, and the Spider Magnets. I assume they spell it Busey because it's spelled the same as Gary Busey's last name. Right. Yeah. I'm not familiar with the band, but I'm sure they're great and you'll love seeing them. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, And if you're in Davenport, here's one for you. This is on the 30th at 6 p.m. at Blay Arts. Not sure how to pronounce it. It's some sort of brewery type place. Okay. It's spelled B-L-E-Y-A-R-T apostrophe S. Blay Arts. Blay Arts? Yeah. Blay Arts. That's what I thought too. Blay Arts. <laughs> Blay Arts. Blay Arts. Paul Blay Arts. Paul Blay Arts. <laughs> <Paul Blart. laughs> uh, anyway, the show is a Fire Sale reunion show. Fire Sale is a band that our friend Max Lipnick was in back in the day. Now they're reuniting for a show, probably just once, but I don't Aww. know for sure. <laughs> Max <laughs> is a part of the band Flash in a Pan. Uh, he played as dodge street duo with alex also from flash in a pan at our concert last month uh and he also hosts local tunes on kry tuesdays i think at nine he moved the show time recently and uh one more thing i can tell you about mission creek is coming up first week of april there's too much stuff happening for me to list all of it so check out missioncreekfestival.com to get the full lineup and schedule Oh, we also have two more concerts this season. April 12th, 8 p.m. at the Java House, and May 4th, 7 p.m. at Uptown Bills. I will tell you the lineups later on as we get closer to those dates. I will be doing another radio show one week from today, March 24th at 4 p.m. I don't know what's going to happen yet. We'll see if someone joins me. We'll see if I'm here alone, just clicking on things on my computer. It's always a mystery. Either way. You never know what you're going to get here. Either way. It'll be a radio show that you might like. <laughs> All right. If you like what you heard today, and why wouldn't you have, uh, you, can find, <laughs> you can find everything in the I Hear I See universe at IHearIC.com. That website has links to our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Patreon pages, as well as every recorded radio show, which has been uploaded as a podcast, which you can listen to on iTunes, Google Play, Mixcloud, SoundCloud, or Stitcher. Probably some other places, too, that I don't look at. Because, you know, all those podcast places, they just take whatever you upload and they just host it on their own sites. Isn't that It's nice? a wild west out there. <laughs> and if you are listening and you have music you'd like us to hear or shows coming up that you want us to know about, if you'd like to get involved with the I Hear I See program or you would just like to say something to me or Carlos or any of our associates, the best way to reach us is via email. I hear I see at gmail.com. End of show. Do <laughs> uh, you have anything you want to say before we take off, Michelle? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, shoot. That is today. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not wearing green. So oh, I am. You are going to punch me. As I you am. Yesterday. I am. You want to do that on mic real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Come yeah, over yeah. here. Um, I want to thank everybody who tuned in live. Thank you for listening to the show. Um, if you think your friends would like it, maybe you can. Uh, you can. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that was audible. Uh, <laughs> Michelle has punched me for not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day. Thank you all for listening. Uh, Have a good week. Oh, it's spring break, so enjoy that if you're a student and you don't have to go to class. We're going to close out today's show with a track from our friend Hadiza. This is from her EP Gone, which she released just a few months ago. This is the closing track, Source, and I know you're going to like it. All right, signing off. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.
nation's first digital college radio station. 